Hey guys, girls, I'm James. Welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at a different kind of drone. We're looking at a, a water drone, <laughs> or some people may call them RC boats. Uh, this boat is from DERC, and it's this price on Amazon right now. And this is my second boat to review. The first one I did was this DERC. They sent me almost a year ago, and this one's this price on Amazon right now. As you can tell, one's a lot larger than the other one. And you're probably thinking, what's the difference? So if you're looking at them, of course, one's bigger, but this one has brushless motors. Uh, this one comes with two batteries. This comes with one. And I'll get into the batteries in just a minute. So what are brushless motors? Brushless motors, well, brushed motors are like two brooms spinning inside of a magnet. There's constant contact and heat, and they wear out eventually. But a brushless motor kind of reminds me of these old spinners. It's, it's two magnets spinning inside of each other, and they're not making contact and it's a lot more power and they last a lot longer, but much more expensive to make. So that's why brushless motors, when you, especially when you're looking at drones and RC craft, they're much, that are much, much better than the brushed. Well, they say this one goes 30 miles an hour. Guys, 30 miles an hour is really fast on the water. Um, I used to barefoot. I know how fast 30 miles an hour is. I can't imagine this thing even being controllable at 30 miles an hour. But we're gonna take the speed gun out. We're gonna test it. Also, in all my videos about drones, I talk about having an agenda. When you go out, if you're just aimlessly flying around, it's gonna get boring kind of quick. So I say do figure eights, have it go around you facing you, have it go around facing away from you, and have an agenda. So how can you have an agenda on this instead of just doing figure eights or circles? Well, I'll show you how we made these little gates. <laughs> we made these gates to fly through, and we actually tied a string to them, and we put these out in the pond, and. Uh, these are very inexpensive to make, but it made this boat so much funner because it gave you, it makes you realize how hard it is to control. When you're just out in a body of water and you're just flying around, it seems like it's really easy to control, but to get precise movements and to work on your skill set and to get better at it and have an agenda makes it a lot more fun. But let's go put her in the water. I'll show you how she floats and flies and then I'll compare it to this one. I really like this drone. And if, even if this one's twice as fast as this one, it all comes down to perception um, and how much fun it is. Cause this one comes with two batteries and, and it's a lot less expensive. Is this one worth the extra money and only one battery? And if it only comes with one battery, can you buy extra ones or can you buy different ones from hobby shops and get it in the water and have extra batteries? All right, so let's go put her up in the air. Um, let, I mean, let's go put her up in the water. All right, well, the first thing we're gonna do is check the speed on it with the speed gun, and it comes in right at 22. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's better than I thought. All right, guys, in no ways do I say that I'm a boat expert, but I did buy this Traxxas boat a few years ago. I think it was $350, and it, this DERC will run circles around it, outperform it. The Traxxas is way bigger, but this thing's way funner, and so was the first one I reviewed. It's a lot of fun, too. But since I am in the hobby, I do understand this battery. I wish they gave you more options when you're buying it or make you understand that uh, the battery that comes with this takes six hours to charge and you only get 15 minutes. But it's they are three 18650 batteries wrapped up in a package. Uh, those are very common in the RC hobby in uh, controllers and in the, art, in the goggles for the fat sharks. Uh, but there's also other batteries you can use because it uses what's called a Dean connector. So you can get uh, batteries for it for about $24. I'll sit down and go over it afterwards and show you the different options you can uh, use for the batteries and uh, uh, the way around and not have to wait all day. Because if you're gonna go out and have fun with this boat, you're definitely gonna want multiple batteries. And 18650s are really expensive and you can use the other RC ones. It just, it's gonna take a little bit of uh, looking to get them fitted into the boat. And you might be scared that it's too fast for you, but if you look at the controller on the right, it's got a speed switch where you can turn it way down. You can also turn the lights on and off. They're really cool at night, and then it's got a steering trim. So if it's not going straight and it seems to be drifting to the left to the right, you can adjust the steering, but I didn't seem to have any problems. It seemed to uh, steer just fine. So here I have an audience of two turtles have come out to see the show of what is this thing flying around in our water? I'm getting these shots from uh, my DJI Mini 3. Uh, also shows me how dirty my water is. So this thing's a lot of fun. I mean, it, you can see right here how fast it can turn. This is not sped up at all. This thing it really flies. It turns super fast. It, it'll flip sometimes, but it'll upright itself really quick. It actually has a two canopy system that keeps water out uh, with two different barriers keeping it from going in. So here we go out, we put the boat in the water. Actually, this is the other DERC. The battery was dead in the other one, and we start running it through these gates. 
and I, then I found out how hard it really is. This is not easy to do to put these things through the gates. I need a lot more practice to get my skill set. And you don't have to make these gates. You could use trout line buoys. You could use a water jug and tie a rock to it and throw it out there. Uh, there's all kinds of things you could use. Just try to have some kind of agenda to make it more fun. Look, I'm even going to have to slow down right here to try to get it through it. So I'm just working on one before I even start trying to do two. So if you're wondering how I got those shots with the, from the front of the boat in the beginning of the video, I used an Insta360 Go 2. They're about $200. There is a new one out that's $100 more. These boats do have reverse, but uh, it don't, that camera only weighs nine grams. And so it, uh, if you're gonna do it, make sure you drill the hole in the top and mount it in the center of the boat. If you put it towards the front or the back, then it, it won't perform correctly. But it allows you to get some really cool shots on top of boats, RC planes, and cars that uh, otherwise could not carry the weight of a GoPro. So now we're going to go inside and Lucas is going to show you how he made these uh, little race gates and then I'm going to sit down and go over everything about the boat uh, on the inside and how to charge batteries and everything else. Uh, so let's go inside. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It's just, it's super easy and cheap. It's made out of PVC, PVC pipe and uh, noodles from the dollar store. All right, here we go. And what's the boat going to do? It's going to go through them. Okay. <laughs> All right. So like I said, it's pretty simple. Just, you start connecting, you connect the, these things into this, mm -hmm. and just. And it, guys, these don't have to be exact. You know what I mean? No. So the, as long as they're like within an inch or something like that. And the reason we put that green tape on them down there is so they don't, they don't fall off when you hit them with the boat. And it, and as you tighten them up, they'll be tighter. PVC, and um, as you look, they are not sliced. So you have to use a knife. Make sure you have parental guidance <laughs> when you're gonna use a knife to slice these in half and just go around them. These are actually a lot of fun to make too, and you tie a string to it so it don't float away and tie it up somewhere, but don't run over the string. It'll get caught up in the prop. So let's go inside and I'll show you everything on the boat. All right, let's see what he weighs in at with the cover on it. Weighs in at 616 grams compared to the, the 2008, weighs in at 365 grams, 366. So how much is? 600 and something grams, well 600 and something grams is about the same weight as nine eggs in the carton. I mean, just look at the battery size difference. I mean, they're both, these are 18500s and these are 18650s. So this weighs in at 71 grams. And of course this weighs in at 147. So the battery is twice the weight. But let's take a look inside. I really like how it has two different compartments and so the Dean connector slides through this. Uh, the balance port is just for charging. So you look in here, it's water cooled. It's really cool. Very powerful brushless motor. The ECU seems to be really uh, connected. This is your, uh, your speed control and your servo to, for the steering. I like the way the rudder's configured. And of course it's got these stabilizers on it to keep it level. And I, these aren't adjustable, but man, it, it performs perfect with the ones that it's got on it. And this is a lithium ion battery. So let's talk about this battery. Uh, this is a three battery setup and it's 18650, which is very common in the RC hobby. So if you look at my fat sharks, side here are two, here are two 18650 batteries. Uh, the 7, 1800 milliwatt amp battery is 3.7 volts. So if you take 3.7 volts and you multiply it 3 times 3, that's how they're getting the 11.1 volts. Um, so there's three 18650s in here. And also, if you look at the back side of my Radio Master TX16S, that's what it takes. It, and these are, if you look, these are 1860. 18650 batteries also. I actually got these at a, I couldn't, I didn't want to wait to Amazon to send them overnight. So you can pick these up at the vapor shops because these are what they use in the e-cigarettes a lot. 
So the biggest turn off of this boat is this charger plugs into here through the balance port and you plug it in. 30, it takes six hours to charge this battery for 15 minutes and that may turn you off. Now 15 minutes is a long time, but if you want to set up race gates like I showed you and you want to have more fun and you're out of a battery, for $100 this may seem expensive, but these are expensive batteries. So here's, here's, here's one option you can do. One, you can get this uh, Dean connector to an XT30 connector and this will plug in here and then you can plug it into an RC charger. Then you can take this battery and plug it into an RC charger. I'm sorry, this is an XT60. So the XT60 can plug into here. And then of course this balance port would, would go over here and I can charge it with my RC charger. Very, and it would probably charge, I would think in less than an hour versus six hours. I have this other balance port that actually has a Dean connector on it right here. And I could take the battery and I could plug it straight in. I could plug it straight into the D connector here and plug it into here. And there's all different types of battery chargers that you can use to plug this into. And this is the charger I use for my 18650s. Um, you, you just put them into here and it charges them up and tells you when they're in at 100%. And these usually take about an hour to charge up. So the connector that the boat uses that connects to the power is a Dean connector, D-E-A-N. So there's a variety of batteries on Amazon that you can buy. Just make sure that they're still the 11.1 volt battery, uh, LiPo battery. It can either be LiPo or Lion, um, but just make sure the C rating is not above what it comes with. The C rating is the burst of power that it gives it. So if it's way too high of a C rating, like for an FPV or something like that, it could burn it up. Uh, this is actually the uh, the lights at night that look pretty cool. Uh, really easy to control the controller, even if you've never used it before. It's not like a drone. It's really easy uh, to, to learn the orientation of the boat. And this is the uh, footage I took off the Amazon commercial. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's head back in and I'll give you my final review on this boat. And wonder if this one's even better than the 2108, but I really did like this boat. It's a lot of fun. So guys, thanks so much for watching my review of this water drone, <laughs> RC, the DERC 2104 Challenger boat. Do I like it better than this one? Guys, I think this one is a lot faster, but only coming with one battery and it's harder to get more batteries. I think, I really like, think I like this one better, but if you want something really fast, then you want to go with this one. I was even surprised that it went 22 miles an hour. Guys, 22 miles an hour is really fast. I'd like to figure out what that is in scale speed. It's gotta be like two or 300 miles an hour because this thing's flying at 22 miles an hour. Turns on a dime, it's very well engineered. Water didn't get in it. I love the fact that it's got two barriers to keep the water out. because So as always, if you got something out of this, please like and subscribe. Subscribers mean everything to me in this channel and I'll see you in the next one.